The judiciary is a, is a statutory arm of government that has a duty to perform. Now, aggrieved parties have a right to express opinions on what they expect from the judiciary. Now, if the opinion of uh, aggrieved parties outside of the law and the judicial system is deemed to be pressure, I don't understand what kind of pressure that is. If, for instance, you're in the hospital for surgery, is appendicectomy that's about to be carried out, and some of your relations are outside and they are complaining that, oh, the, this doctor should do this and the other one, it doesn't affect the diagnosis. So let's put a few facts straight on the table. Number one, if you go into a contest, it means you accept the rules of the contest. So if you go for an election, your expectation is that you'll either win or lose. Now, part of also of the democratic part of the tools, or what you find in the toolkit of the democratic enterprise is the judicial process. So you go for elections, results are not satisfactory from your point of view, you move to the next level, which is statutory, which is mandatory, which is constitutional, that is the law. So you go there, you also don't tell the judiciary to finish it in 30 minutes. You look at the existing law, you have a law, you, you are supposed to go through this at the tribunal for 180 days, you have another 60 days at the Supreme Court, I think, if I have my facts right. So you can't jump forward and say, oh, you know, I've become impatient. Stop it. No. So what am I leading up to? There are opinions, there are concerns, there are even hysterical reactions to what is going on in the judiciary regarding the elections. It is the, the duty of the judiciary to conduct itself with dignity. The little I know of what should happen in a court is that the, the, the presiding uh, justices will say, according to the evidence before me, now, if somebody is shouting in the outside the hall, or people are wrestling at the stadium in uh, Surulere, and from, from there they are making comments, should that distract somebody who has evidence before him? So I think also there has to be some greater discipline in the conversation regarding this matter, so that we don't begin to assume or pretend that what does not matter matters.